cognition and consciousness entwined. Humans experience internal sensations in response to the external world. We don't just think or process, we experience. These sensations range from emotions such as love, anxiety, embarrassment, to more subtle experiences known as qualia. Qualia include the pain of a headache, the response to a sunset, or to stroking pets. Humans' inner mental life poses the hard problem of consciousness, understanding how and why we have such internal sensations. Neuroscience explores how brains process sensory information to make inferences and analyze external situations. This is called cognition, and it may result in actions. Consciousness refers to our inner sensations. Recent research at the University of Oxford explored the hypothesis that cognition and consciousness are mutually dependent. The human cortex resembles a carpet made up of one million neural columns, all corrugated up as the brain's outer layer. Each column contains 10,000 individual neurons that are densely connected to others within the same column and only loosely connected to neurons within neighboring columns. When stimulated, individual neurons spike and then rest for some time to recover before being ready to spike again. Spikes travel from a stimulated neuron towards neighboring neurons, crossing synapses and stimulating receptive neighbors. Through computer stimulations, the Oxford team found that spikes are passed around inside a column, creating many circular echo chambers. To maximize the total number of degrees of freedom for the resulting neural dynamics, the neural columns should each contain a similar number of neurons rather than occurring in a range of sizes. This finding agrees with anatomical observations. Next, the team stimulated an entire human cortex using a supercomputer and stimulated selected neurons within some columns in a wide range of different ways. Over many such experiments, the whole system produced different internal responses which could be divided into a set of distinct neural patterns. The response patterns, called modes, exist both over time and across certain columns and neurons. The team found that when one of these modes is active, its behavior preconditions how the brain processes new incoming information, reducing the number of feasible inferences to be made, and reducing the outcomes. This allows the brain to think faster by default. Reliable fast thinking would be impossible without modes. Any preconditioning would be inconsistent. The team hypothesized that modes, discovered by reverse engineering the stimulations, represent human internal sensations, emotions, or qualia. Cognitive information processing causes conscious sensations as modes, while modes precondition and restrict cognitive information processing. So, cognition and consciousness are entwined. Together, cognition and consciousness result in a fast thinking advantage and the brain's architecture and dynamics have evolved to underpin this. The consequence of this research doesn't end with a response to the hard problem of consciousness. It indicates how we might design new chips to process information in the same way as the brain, influenced by internal modes. Such chips could create new forms of artificial intelligence that are fast at reaching decisions yet are not greedy for data.